Well, these images say it all. We are in a crisis, and each one of these pictures is a different location in Los Angeles. Thanks to our circle of eyewitnesses, we have seemingly countless photos from underpasses, parks, and benches. By looking the other way, we have only allowed an epidemic to double in size in the last four years, and it's only getting worse. And this eyewitness news exclusive to better understand the problem, I take you not to our streets, but to jail. And we have to warn you, some of the images you're about to see are disturbing. Just listen to me. I'm not mentally ill. I'm not on medication. I'm not crazy. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not supposed to be up here in the first place. Okay. To be in the L.A. County Jail is a sobering experience. What you see is our society's most difficult challenges and people whose lives are hopeless without help. <laughs> Lieutenant John McDonald is the watch commander at the Twin Towers Jail, and he walks me into a ward called Intake. They were just arrested and they were just taken off the streets. I see newly arrested inmates tethered to tables by chains to keep them from attacking others. I, I would say most of these inmates in this module were homeless. That problem that we have on the streets, mm -hmm directly relates to what we have going on in the county jail. Yes, this is our homeless problem up close. The man you first saw yelling to us from his cell needs medication and a hospital. Do you know much about his history? Uh, he's schizophrenic. Sarah Schlotterbeck is one of the clinicians here doing amazing work. She has the daunting task of helping the inmates and she reveals a shocking statistic. Everyone here probably on this floor is schizophrenic. Oh. Probably 99% have the diagnosis of schizophrenia. It could be hereditary, but the vast majority of today's schizophrenic cases are the result of drugs. To look around and see the mental state of the people in this ward is frightening. In successive cells, I see one man screaming that he's not suicidal. The cell next to him, a man standing completely nude, and next to that, I see a man who has smeared his own feces all over his cell. This is what living on our streets does. But I call uh, homelessness in Los Angeles an absolute uh, epidemic of epic proportions because there's 41,000 people now living on the streets. There's 15,000 people living in cars and RVs. I mean, it's. It's, it's an emergency and it's an epidemic and it needs to be treated like that. There are few people who understand homelessness better than Andy Bales. He runs a union rescue mission and through the years he has helped tens of thousands of people suffering from homelessness. But that's not all. My own dad experienced homelessness from 4 to 17. They'd end up living in a tent in Azusa Canyon or a garage in Compton. But all he could talk about was the shame and embarrassment and pain and devastation. Andy's connection to the cause goes even further. He rolls up his pants and he shows me his prosthetic leg, the result of a tragic turn of events while helping the homeless on Skid Row. My foot came in contact with feces on the sidewalk. An infection eventually led to him losing his leg, but it hasn't stopped him. I, I often say I'd give up my other leg uh, if we'd actually address homelessness. He walks me through the vicious cycle of homelessness and why it has gotten so bad. The biggest added ingredient of homelessness the last few years is the skyrocketing rents. So even everyday folks fall because they just can't keep up. Once on the streets, he says it is hopeless and horrible. Loneliness and depression take over. Cheap drugs are the only escape and that leads to addiction and mental illness. They are destroyed, and that's, that's why you see the picture you see uh, when you visit, uh, visit the jail, because these folks uh, may be behaving the way they're behaving because they've been destroyed by homelessness. During my jail tour, that sense of hopelessness is blatant. A glimpse of their visitor station says it all. In other parts of the jail, the visitor station is usually filled with loved ones, family members dropping by to deliver hope and affection to an inmate. Here, it's empty. There are no visitors. The people who most need someone to care have been completely abandoned. That is our homeless crisis. Andy Bales tells me the size of New York City's homeless crisis is similar to L.A.'s, but he says they spend exponentially more money on their problem. As a result, the vast majority of New York's homeless get shelter and help. And by the way, a new study reveals almost 11,000 L.A. residents fall into homelessness every month. Of them, almost 5,000 won't find a new home for more than a year. So the numbers are growing up. And we created a Facebook 
a group where you can share your stories about how homelessness has impacted your community. And many of you have joined the discussion. Go to ABC 7's Facebook page to find the group. Let's talk about what the solutions are and how we can make a difference together. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC 7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.